Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, I posted a video that Windows 11 22H2 was getting closer to its public release with bold 22621 that was now available in the release preview channel. Now, as I mentioned in that video, uh, which I will leave a link to down below in case you missed that one, Microsoft had now moved version 22H2, which is this year's feature update, uh, into the release preview channel for the final testing until its official release expected sometime possibly in October later on this year. Now this is just a quick video to give you a heads up if you are running bold 22621 uh, in the Insider program that um, there are now user reports that some users are seeing a message which is saying standard hardware security not supported um, in the device security page uh, in the uh, Windows Security Microsoft Defender app uh, in the settings even though um, their systems um, are meeting the necessary requirements for Windows 11. So if we just head over to the device security page in the um, Windows Security app, uh, this is where you see your core isolation, your security processor, which gives you details about your security processor. And obviously, uh, TPM2 is a requirement to uh, run Windows 11. And then your secure boot as well is another requirement to run Windows 11. Now, apparently, some users with build 22621 are seeing a message appear here uh, in the device security page, which is removing the these uh, three um, entries, core isolation, security processor, and secure boot, and is adding standard hardware security not supported, which says your device does not meet the requirements for standard hardware security. Devices have different hardware built in that Windows uses to provide additional protection. So if you are seeing that message, uh, uh, it's just a bug that's been reported. It doesn't mean your device suddenly doesn't meet the hardware requ requirements of Windows 11. And uh, um, apparently this is not a new bug. And this bug um, was addressed and fixed by Microsoft in an earlier build, which was version 22000.100. And now with build 22621, um, it seems to have uh, reared its head again. So as mentioned, if you are seeing standard hardware security not supported, that message appearing here in the device security page, it's just a bug. Um, so um, just be patient as I'm sure um, that Microsoft will roll out a bug fix um, uh, in, the in the next bug fix update to address that issue um, if you are seeing that message appearing in your device security in bold 22621. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.